kids good morning keep spirits all the time and stay healthy i'm happy we can meet again in our science subject all right my kids this is the last our material in unit one about light and dark so today we are going to learn about shadow what is shadow and how are shadows formed apa itu bayangan dan bagaimana bayangan itu terbentuk? Oke, okay, let's learn further. Mari kita pelajari lebih jauh. A shadow is formed when an object blocks the light. Katanya sebuah bayangan terbentuk ketika sebuah benda menghalangi cahaya. For example, when the trees block the sun's light. Ketika pohon menghalangi cahaya matahari. You can see in your science book page 14. Kamu buka buku sainsmu di halaman 14. Nah, you can see there's a picture that is a tree. Itu adalah sebuah pohon. So, the light from the sun cannot shine through the tree. Cahaya dari matahari tidak bisa bersinar melewati pohon. Sehingga apa sayang? That's good. So, when it blocks the light from the sun, the shadow is formed. Ketika pohon itu menghalangi cahaya dari matahari, maka bayangan itu akan terbentuk. Can you see the shadows of the tree? Yes, good job. So, the shadows cannot be formed when there is no light. Jadi bayangan tidak bisa terbentuk ketika tidak ada cahaya matahari. Nah, the dark shapes is called shadows. Jadi bentuk yang gelap itulah yang disebut shadows. Understand my kids? Very good. So, let's see again in your book. I will read. Can you see the dark areas on the grass in front of these trees? Bisakah kamu melihat area yang gelap di rumput di depan pohon-pohon ini? Yes, very good. That's shadow. Ya, yeah, itu adalah bayangan. How are they formed? Bagaimana mereka terbentuk? Tadi si teacher sudah jelaskan kan? The light from the sun cannot shine through the tree. Cahaya dari matahari tidak bisa bersinar melalui pohon. Sehingga, when it blocks the light from the sun, the shadow is formed. Jadi, sehingga ketika pohon itu menghalangi cahaya dari matahari, maka bayangan itu terbentuk. Very good. When the trees block the sun's light, dark areas are formed on the grass. These are shadows. Seperti yang teacher barusan jelaskan, ketika pohon menghalangi cahaya matahari, Area gelap terbentuk di rumput. Itulah yang dinamakan bayangan. Good job. A shadow is formed when light is blocked. Katanya sebuah bayangan terbentuk ketika cahaya. Very good. Dihalangi. Nah, you can see here these pictures. Can you tell what things formed the shadows? Dapatkah kamu menceritakan benda-benda apa saja yang terbentuk dari bayangan ini? Or what form the shadows atau bentuk apa bayangan ini? Who knows the first pictures? Yes, good job. That's camel shadows. Itu adalah bayangan unta. Good job. The second pictures. What form the shadows? Bentuk apakah bayangan ini? Very good. Aeroplane. The third pictures. Yes, bicycle. Very good. Okay, now you can see here to the next page, page 15. Aisa and Tom want to find out more about shadows. Katanya si Aisa dan si Tom ingin mencari tahu tentang bayangan. Tom blocks the light from a torch or flashlight with his hand. 
Tom menghalangi cahaya dari center dengan tangannya. Pertanyaan pertama, does the shadow of Tom's hands have any color? Apakah bayangan tangan si Tom memiliki warna? No. Jadi, what color is Tom's hand? Very good. It is black. The next question. Does it have the same shape and size as Tom's hands? Apakah katanya tangannya si Tom memiliki bentuk dan ukuran yang sama seperti tangannya si Tom? Yes, very good. The shadow has the same shape as Tom's hand. Good job. Next, Aisa wants to form a shadow of Tom's hands on the floor. Aisa katanya ingin membentuk bayangan tangan si Tom di lantai. How should she sign the flashlight? Bagaimana dia akan menyinari dengan center? Or, pertanyaannya, where should Aisa signs the flashlight so that the shadow of Tom's hand is on the floor? Bagaimana seharusnya Aisa lakukan untuk menyinarkan senternya sehingga bayangan tangan si Tom itu terbentuk di lantai? Yes, very good. Aisa should sign the flashlights above Tom's hands. Nah, jawabannya adalah Aisa harus menyinarkan senternya di atas tangan Tom. Very good. Next, I want to make one example of my shadow's hand. Teacher mau kasih satu contoh tentang bayangan tangan teacher. When I move the light closer to my hand, the shadow is bigger. Ketika teacher memindahkan cahaya lebih dekat kepada tangan teacher, maka bayangannya lebih besar. But if I move the light away from my hand, the shadow is smaller. Tapi ketika teacher memindahkan cahaya jauh dari tangan teacher, maka bayangannya akan lebih kecil. So, you can try again at your home. How is your shadow's hand formed? Bagaimana bentuk tangan bayangan tangan anak-anak teacher? Boleh dicoba di rumah ya, seperti teacher. Nah, you can move the light closer to your hand. Kamu boleh pindahkan cahaya dekat dengan tanganmu. Bagaimana bayangannya? How is the shadow form? Bagaimana bentuk bayangannya sayang? Bigger or smaller? Oke, okay, you can try it. Oke, okay? and if you move the light away from your hands, how is the shadow form? Bagaimana bentuk bayangannya? Smaller or bigger? Oke, okay, let's try it at home kids. Alright, let's continue again to see your book in page 15. The next question, can you make shadows of different shapes and size with your hands? Bisakah kamu membuat bayangan dari bentuk dan ukuran yang berbeda dengan tangan kamu? For example, you make the shadow of birds. Kamu membuat bayangan burung. You make the shadow of rabbit. Kamu boleh buat bayangan kelinci. You can make the shadow of dog. Kamu boleh membuat bayangan anjing. Or you make the shadow of elephant. Kamu boleh buat bayangan gajah. Oke, okay? so you can try this at home. Oke, okay? next you can see again into the next page. In page 16. Try this. Cobalah ini katanya. So, this is your homework experiment. Ini adalah praktek kamu di rumah. Okay, step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. So, you can see here in the step 1, draw some animals or characters from a story on paper. Katanya gambarlah beberapa hewan, but I choose only one. Teacher pilih hanya satu saja ya. Jadi, anak-anak teacher gambarlah satu hewan from a story on paper dari sebuah cerita di atas kertas. Cut their shapes out. Guntinglah bentuk hewan yang kamu gambar. Next, in step 2, glue its shape onto a stick. Katanya, limlah setiap bentuk itu dengan stick. 
Okay. Next, in step 3, hold the shape in front of the bright light source to form cirrus on the wall. Katanya peganglah bentuknya dan arahkan di depan cahaya ya, cahaya center untuk membentuk bayangan di dinding. In step 4, have a zero puppet show. Nah, inilah dia katanya bayangan pertunjukan bayangan dari hewan. Oke. Okay. I hope you can do it all my kids. And next in page 70, you can do this exercise. Okay? A, B, and C. Okay, that's all our lesson for today my kids. I hope you can do it all and send privately to teacher. Okay? Bye-bye my kids. I love you and I miss you.